here's a simplified workflow for getting motion capture data for, onto an avatar and then uh, taking that animation file, converting it to a sequence of OBJ files, and then bringing that into uh, Blender uh, to have the entire um, animation on one frame. So Mixamo is a database made by Adobe or acquired by Adobe that has a bunch of characters. We can start here. Um, I've got Lizard Man, it's fine for me. Um, he has a skeleton on him. So he's already rigged and ready to go. And then I go to my animations and then find something that is useful. Um, again, I said there's no martial arts that I've seen, um, but I have seen some sword play. So we get something that is dyna dynamic that moves around in space like um, uh, like this one he turns around does a kick all right uh, we can now download this and this will download an FBX uh, we want it with skin so default settings is fine So this will be at 30 frames per second. Again, motion capture can be at 240 frames per second. So it'll have a better smear, you know, be less um, clipped, uh, but this will be gonna start off with. So uh, there is Blender 3D. Um, Blender is free and open source, works for Windows, Mac, and Linux. You just download this, install it. It's like a 300 megabyte install. It's a digital content creation tool. Um, I have Blender open already. Um, I have an empty scene right here. A couple things I like to do to start off with. Uh, when you first open in Blender, it'll give you a camera, um, a light, and uh, I don't know, a box in there. You can go over here to this outliner, delete them, and then say file, default, save a startup file, and that way every time you open up, it'll, it'll be empty. Then another thing I like to do is because I'm used to Maya, I like to go to my key map and change it to industry compatible, which is the Maya uh, for mouse clicking through the viewport. Um, if you're doing tutorials though, most tutorials in Blender will be using the Blender. So uh, it's up to you which one you want to get used to. Uh, I do industry compatible because I use Maya more. And that way I can alt and click and drag and use a mouse wheel to zoom in and out. And then uh, middle mouse, or sorry, alt, right, zooms in and out. And alt middle mouse button will transform that way. All right, so we want to import. Uh, you can't drag and drop files in Blender. You have to choose what kind of file you're going to import. And so we're going to import this FBX, which is a 3D file with motion on it. Um, I'm going to look at my downloads and remind myself what the hell it was actually called, which would probably be called something about sword fighting. Um, I'll look at my downloads. Great sword kick in this downloads folder. Great sword kick. All right, so this is my settings. Um, I want to bring in the animation. I want to make sure that my bones are automatically oriented correctly. Uh, this is just a visual thing um, that just makes it look right. Otherwise, Blender does some weird stuff. Um, and then everything should be fine by default. So say import FBX, give it a second. All right, F will frame. Right now it looks like it's grayscale. We go up to this viewport options, you can change it to viewport shading, and we'll see that it did not bring in the textures. Oh yeah, it did, so it has textures. And then if you bent down at the bottom, you can scrub and there's the animation, which is 46 frames long. Um, we now wanna convert this to a series of OBJ files, so not with being deformed by a skeleton, just having a 3D model per frame. So let's now go to export, OBJ, Sorry, Wavefront, OBJ, Wavefront is the company that made Maya initially. And then uh, over here in the settings, we wanna make sure that we're exporting the animation and we only need the first 46 frames. Um, and by saying export animation, it doesn't have any deformation, therefore it will export a sequence of files to make an animation. Um, I think everything else will be, different, will be the same. Maybe if I don't bring it my textures, I need to come down here and look at my texture settings. Uh, but it says I'm exporting material, so it should be fine. Um, okay. So I, probably a good idea to make a folder uh, for this because it's going to export 46 of, of 46 files. 
So we'll call this sculpture. And give it a name. Sword. All right, export. And now if I go to that downloads folder, I have a sculpture folder that now has an OBJ file and then MTL means uh, material. That's a material file. There's only one MTL, so hopefully uh, this works. Otherwise, I need to think about my material settings, if that's even important. Uh, it might not even be important for you. Um, okay, so we can clear the scene. So I say new general. And because I saved that startup file, I'm completely empty, which is great. And I'll say open. Open. Oh, sorry, not that. Let's open an OBJ. So import obj find that downloads folder for sculpture and then I'm just gonna grab all of these um, debatable whether or not I need the MTL file can't hurt I'll just say all and uh, do, 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 do. should be good Give it a second, it might take a little, a little moment to process. Oh, so it's already there, so let's see. Is it small? F to frame it. I don't see it, so let's go ahead and do a new one again and not worry about the MTL file. File, import, wavefront. Downloads, sculpture, a bunch of OBJ files. Thinking, thinking, thinking. This is more promising. So I redid the thing in Blender 3.4. Uh, check your version. Um, that's the most recent version, I think. Um, it was exporting and importing it differently. So with the with the original sword slash, if I export in 3.4, it actually makes a, a folder with both uh, OBJs and MTLs for every frame. All right. So now it has the more synced up. And there's the the punches you have to roll with with using free software. So now that I have those files as OBJs, I import Wavefront OBJ, and I now don't care about textures probably because I'm going to be doing some sort of digital fabrication. So you can right click and sort by um, extension. So you can only have the OBJ files, right? Start with one, shift select 46, and then uh, import. Give it a couple seconds, and there we are. Deselect it, and you see that the fidelity is based off of the fact that it's 30 frames per second. It would have more of a smear effect if it was on uh, 240 frames per second. Cool. Um, and then if you want to export this, then you go to File, Export, STL is what's usually used for uh, 3D printing and CNC routing and stuff. Uh, these look like pretty simple, so it looks like yeah, this would all work out fine as one file. Cool.